Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And uh, don't forget to check out Patreon, where we've got our April monthly reward up. Um, it's a really entertaining three puzzle set. Do check it out. Or join Patreon if you haven't already done so, so that you can check it out. Um, also, of course, in the links under the video, you can find your way to our merchandise, our app, Sven Sudoku Pad, the Discord server, all those things um, associated with the channel. Do check them all out. Loads of stuff going on all the time. S crossword solves. Um, what else have we got? I mean, all sorts going on all the time. Oh, Simon's done a Fistimafel solve as well, so that's great. Um, now, this puzzle has come in, and it is called Flying Arrows by Anti Knight. Anti Knight's quite an amusing uh, name. I don't think we've ever done a puzzle by Anti Knight before, and for once, I'm going to have to remember that there is no Anti Knight. Uh, restriction. Normally, if there's a knight's move restriction, I have to remember that it does exist. This time, I have to remember that it doesn't, even though it's on the name on the puzzle. So, um, gonna just have to learn that that doesn't exist. This is an arrow Sudoku. The digits along each arrow must sum to the digit in the circled cell. So, those three add up to that one. Uh, normal Sudoku rules apply, etc., etc. Do give it a try on the link under the video. I am going to start now. Let's get cracking. Well, we've got some three different digit arrows. So all of these and this one and this one are going to have to have six, seven, eight or nine in their circles because six is the lowest possible number you can get from three Sudoku numbers. Um, I'm looking for a box which has lots of arrow cells in it, but there don't seem to be any like that. Four there, four there, three here, no. Um, we've got two one, no, three one cell arrows. Not sure how they're helping. Um... No, I don't know. The minimum for these one is obviously four cells adds up to 10 plus one and two there would be 13. It's unlikely to be as little as 13, but that doesn't really give me anything else I can write in. Wow, okay, I don't know what to do here yet. Let's just keep thinking about this. If those two were the same, they'd have to appear on that arrow in box three. So they couldn't both be nine. Is that, that doesn't help at all. Right. When you can't get moving on a plain arrow Sudoku, don't panic. Think about set theory. But what about set theory? Right, some of these arrows... Yeah, okay, there's this one and there's this one. So I'm going to highlight the perimeters and see... See what I find in the perimeters or bits of the perimeters. So if I make those green... That's a set of the digits one to nine, because that is column one. If I make these purple, that's a set of the digits one to nine, because that's what's needed in row one. Now, if I eliminate this cell, which is both green and purple, I'm still left with a set of the same digits in purple and green. And if I eliminate this circle and these arrow cells, well, at least I add up to the same total. It's not the same digits, because I've got seven purples and five greens. But I've got the same total. Right, now I am going to bring boxes three... No, I'm going to bring these rows and columns into play. How am I going to do that? Which is the better one? Okay, let's stick with the long arrow here and the long arrow here. So I'm going to make the bottom row green. And that involves double counting this cell. So what's double green? In my case, it's greeny blue. Uh, no, it's not. Yeah, all right, greeny blue. I'm going to make this column purple. 
and that involves double counting this cell, so that's purpley orange. So now I'm going to eliminate this cell, which is both green and purple. This is a purple total against a green sum. They can be eliminated. Right, now I'm going to make box three green and box seven purple. And that, there is a symmetry about this which is appealing. But I think this is going to give us an interesting result. Look at this. If we eliminate the green and purple cells from both, that's those ones. Now, these ones, they're orange because it's double purple. So if I eliminate one purple and one green, I'm left with a purple. Down here, I eliminate one green and the purple, and I'm left with a green. And now, look, I can eliminate green and purple there, green and purple there. That's why I've brought box seven into it. And now I can eliminate those greens and that purple total, these greens and that purple total. And now my, my equivalences have been maintained throughout. And what I now have is a lot of purple cells, nine of them, equaling three green cells. Now the maximum total for these three greens is nines in a couple of them and an eight there. That is 26. What is the minimum total of all the purples? Well, that one is at least a six. So let's put a three in here. This is just an example. So I don't know that these numbers go in two and one there. Can these be one, two, four? Yes, if I put four there, one there, two there, this all works. Then this could be one, this could be two, and this one could be six. Now I'm up to nine, 12, well, 10 across the top, nine down there, 19, 21, 22. Oh, bother, but I've got 26 in green. So there's four degrees of freedom, but, this two won't work if that's a six. This would have to be, well, ah, okay, let's eliminate that purple by putting in those as purple instead. Okay, that's getting a bit more interesting. Now this group of cells has to be one, two, three, four at the minimum. And now what am I up to? 10 in the top, 10 in row eight, 10 in row one, that's 20, 23, 24. So there are two degrees of freedom left from the 26 total in green. That is frustrating. Because if there was one degree of freedom, you could make some deductions, but two, two is significantly more than one degree of freedom, I think. Now, what am I missing here? Ah, oh, I've got six. Oh, no, that. Oh, well, these have gone up. Right. OK, I could do this the other way around. Sorry, I hadn't realized that that total couldn't equal that. Oh, it doesn't really matter. I'm not using this cell anymore. I'm using these purples in the total. Is there any other arrows I can bring into this mix? It's tricky. What about this arrow that uses this cell? I mean, the way I've set it up, that can be a three, and that works fine, I think. Oh, come on. Am I missing something here? If this isn't the break-in, it gets awfully close to being a break-in, which is very frustrating. Now, I mean, there is every possibility that it's not meant to be. Ah, oh, and as I've done it, one and two would have to be on these arrows, that's fine, as long as they're not on the same one. No problem with that. Oh, this... Hmm, that has to be at least a six. No, I don't think that's helpful. Oh, bother, bother, bother. What am I missing here? So, I like what I've done, but it's not quite enough to move on. I mean, I could put two degrees of freedom on these, put nine, eight, seven there, nine, eight, seven, six here, one, two, three, although I might be missing a degree of freedom by shuffling things around. 
The trouble is there are just too many to make this how to play the game here, I think. Oh, this is frustrating. Is there something going on in this box that I haven't understood? That cell is that cell, and therefore one of these, that's not useful. Um, <clears throat> these three add up to that, that's not useful either. I cannot see what I'm missing here. I'm, I mean, maybe this is the way in, but I can't see why. So let's think about this cell a bit more. If that was, I mean, this is possible, I think, the way this is. Four there with three and one, even three with two and one would work fine. Maybe you have to have two and one in these three cells and they can't be there. Not sure that that's true, but if you didn't, then you'd be double counting something bigger than one or two. So that would double up. Ooh, that would use the whole degree of freedom if you had to increase. Oh no, because you could take one off there. If you increase two to a three in those places, you could reduce three to a two up there. So that would only take one off the total. So that's not it. I think I've missed it here. Um, that's a pity because that, that set stuff was going quite well but maybe I didn't add in something more. The trouble is you can add in other rows and columns but they, they bring so many more cells into play that it actually reduces the usefulness in most occasions and I was quite pleased that I'd found useful ones so far. Yeah I mean this box three this has been designed to be part of a set total along with row one and column one that's and column nine that's definitely the case and i think this has two leaving these two cells out now what can i do to make sure that these have to be a one two pair probably is some reason that that's the case just looking at this group Six is the minimum there. Or well, that group of cells making six the minimum here. Okay. Right. Whatever these three are from six, seven, eight, nine have to be fitted into these six cells. And at least one of them is going to be on an arrow. Nine can't be on an arrow here. Ah, so nine must be in, well, one of these cells. It's not going to fit in that one because we don't have the degrees of freedom. It can't go in that one. So nine's in one of these three. Now, if nine was here, I don't know. That would just make this an eight, seven, six group. All I'd know about that was they'd all need a one on. Hmm, it might be something about where ones get forced. You can put a one on this arrow and you can get ones on both of these by having one in box eight and one in box nine. Then that will almost certainly end up being a one now the alternative is putting a nine here and that keeps nine out of this circle. So there'd be a one on this group of cells. I don't know how to use that. What is going on here? I need to think of some restriction that I can't, that I haven't found yet. I mean, I think we're close. I'm leaving these cells highlighted because this is this is close to the way to break in. 
<clears throat> if these two were a nine pair. Oh, where are? Ah, they can't be a nine pair. Because where does nine go in this box then? It can't go here because that is impossible to be a nine. The same is true for there because of that. And these don't have the freedom to get to nine. Right, so we're going to have to lose one degree of freedom off these. In fact, these can't be the same. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, whatever these are, I don't think they can be up to seven. So let me just check that. Let's imagine we put a seven here. One, two, three here. That's 13, and a 1 here is 14, 10 across the top is 24, 2 and 1 is 27. These three can't add up to as much as 27. So, there is no 7 in these two purple cells. Now, why am I bothered about that? The same is true of 8 and 9 for the same reasons. And that means that these two are not repeated digits. because then there'd be nowhere to put that digit in box seven at all. And if these two aren't repeated digits and neither can be the same as this, this is a triple of three different digits. And I think we've worked out that the minimum for these purple cells is 24. And I'm sure you know the secret of 24, that three, di three different Sudoku digits have to be nine, eight, and seven to be 24. I think that works. That's extraordinary. That's a really clever... Box 7 looked very innocent at first with just these two one-cell arrows poking in and out of it. But it is the most devious box I've dealt with in a long time. And these have to be different. So let's take out the corner marks. That is a 987 triple. Um, and these purple cells now add up to 24. So this is a 1, 2, 3, 4 set. This is a 1, 2, 3, 4 set. We'll look at the detail in a moment. This has to be one in row seven, and this has to be a one-two pair. And that's the only way to keep it down to 24. So there we go. Right. Let's take out the corner marks because they were all just guesstimates. Now, this can't be a one and that can't be a one. Um, there's a one-two pair here. Ah, so we've got three or four in the corner. One and two have to be in this group. So one is in one of these two cells. It's clearly not in the circle. It must be there. Two is in one of these cells, and it's not in the circle either, because that would need double one on the arrow. So two is there. That now needs a two or a three on the arrow. Gosh, that took some finding. Right, there's a one on this arrow. So this is not a nine. <laughs> it's not very helpful. One or two there means this is three, four, five, or six. That's not very interesting either. Now, we have to just keep this discovery going to make it interesting here. Now, we've got a one there. Come on, what, what am I missing now? We've got this seven, eight, nine triple. So where, okay, it's not that hard. Whatever that number is goes in one of those two cells. Whatever that one is goes in one of those two. So there's a virtual seven, eight, nine triple in these cells. That means this, for instance, is three, four, five, or six. It's seeing a one, two pair there. Same up here, three. Oh no, this is seeing a one, two, three, four. Quad. So in fact, that is five or six, because whatever that number is, is in one of those two. Actually, or, or that one. I've just realized it could be on that circle and arrow. So, but anyway, it's certainly in those five, and that applies down here. So sorry if I um, didn't quite appreciate the full logic there. But whatever that number is in this box has to be in one of these three cells, therefore in one of these three cells, Therefore, not in these four. So that was okay. That was okay. Now, I don't think that really helps anyway. Um, five or six there. It would be lovely if I knew which digit it was, but I don't. This can't have a one and a two on it because it sees that cell. So it can't be six or seven in the circle. It's eight or nine. This doesn't seem much. One of those is a three. 
That's not very interesting. That's a two. Come on, come on. This is either one, two, three, putting four here, one, two, four, putting three there, or one, three, four, putting two. That's no use. Wow, I mean, every step is hard one. Right, one and two can't be there or there. So they're definitely on the arrows. Um, they're not on both together on one arrow because neither of those circles can be a three. So there's a one on one arrow and a two on the other. One, two, three, four, five or six. These are quite big numbers. That is at least five, six, seven, or eight. Well, we can't have an eight there because this can't be a one. It also can't be a three because there's definitely a three in one of those. This could be a two, but it could just be a four. So that's a two, three, four triple. This one is seven, eight, or nine as a result. Two, three, four triple in the box means everything else in the box is five, six, seven, eight, or nine. That's quite extensive pencil marking, but Hey, I'm still trying to get a handle on what's going on here. Seven, two, four. No, seven, two, nine would put three, four here. One of those two is a two. Yeah, no, that's not. Oh, one of those two is a two. So the two's not on this arrow. It's on this one. Therefore, the one's not on that arrow, it's on this one. Um, with a four, five, six, seven, or eight. And this two goes with a four, five, six, or seven. So we've still got this issue of nine being in one of these cells, and I don't know which one. One is there and in one of those, so one of these two is a one. I mean, I bet it's on the arrow, but I don't know that. I'm not really making that bet. Two there, two in one of these. That three, four pair, is that doing? It's not doing a lot of work. I'd love to know what that is more. Um, right. This arrow. I don't know. Seven, eight, nine, triple. Now, yeah, it's not right to say that seven, eight, and nine must be confined there because this could be one of them. Otherwise, I could have reduced that to a five, six pair, but I don't think I can do that. No, I'm pretty sure I can't. Okay, maybe if this was eight or nine, this would be a pair. It's not helpful. Um, is that five in the corner? I wonder. Maybe I think about these arrows again. So if this was a three, this would be a four, that would be a three. That's not really helping. If that was a two, this would be a three and that would be a four. Does that mean this can't have a four on it? If that's a four, this can't have a four on it. If that's a two, no, that's a four, that's a three, this can have a four on it. So I can't even rule out one and four equals five here. And I don't know if it would have helped if I could. If that was six or seven, this would have to be a two. Oh, maybe these two arrows that occupy a lot of the same space. And there's definitely a one on this one. Yeah, again, in this box, ah, oh, one is in one of these two arrows. Does it also have to be in these two? I don't think it does. One of these could, well, this one specifically could be a two, three, four arrow. That would give us a one, two, three, four quad here. And I think that's okay. 
So let's try and think again. Three can't be on, ah, where's three in this box? That's an interesting question. Can't be on this arrow because this can't add up to as little as four. Can't be on this arrow because this can't add up to as little as five. Can't be here because that's a three, four pair in row one. So three must be in one of these three cells. It could be in the corner. We love it when three's in the corner, but it doesn't have to be. But anyway, this now can't be a three down here. Can I turn that around and say, where's three in this row? I don't think so, not usefully. Ah, but this C is a one, two, three, four quad. So this one's quite a big number, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. We've got quite a lot of five, six, seven, eight, or nine going on now in the puzzle. I can do another one there. Um, I'm tempted to put a couple more in here. That's almost certainly wrong, actually, because this one, this circle, and I'm therefore on the arrow, doesn't have to be three low numbers. I mean, it could be. If these were definite low numbers, this couldn't be a four. If these were in the bottom four numbers, that would be a quadruple. Ah, oh, is there a minimum for these two? I don't think so. This can still be one and two, leaving this to be up to 14. And that do doesn't even definitely need a one. Ah, oh, but there is definitely a one in those arrows because of that positioned one. Maybe I should be using that a bit more. It's given me a one in one of those cells. One is in one of those. That's really not interesting. Um, one is in one of these three, and I bet it's on an arrow. Yeah, it's not there because that sees a one, two, three, four set. So in this box, one is in one of these two cells. And that's totally uninteresting. It just puts one in one of these three. As usual, I'm prepared to bet the low numbers on the arrow, but if I made all these bets, I'd lose some of them. Um, ah, one, two, three, four, see all of these. So again, five, six, seven, eight, nine as a quintuple in row eight. Um, and in row one. So now we've got four of the five, six, seven, eight, nine set in column one. Is this the other one? No, I don't think that's proven at all. Um, it's not a one. So one can't be in either of those cells. So there is a one on the arrow. And that doesn't mean this can't be a nine. It could be one, three, five or one, two, six. Can that be the one? And then you'd have a one here. I think it can be. There's a one in one of those cells, so this isn't a one, but one of these two is a one. I don't quite know about this arrow. I have a feeling that might be key at this point, but I don't know what it is. Let's just keep thinking about down here. If this wasn't 9 and 8, well, in fact, 7 can't be on the arrows. So, 1 of 9, 8 or 7 at least is in these two cells, possibly both of them if there's a 6 in one of these circles. No nines in one of those places. Could this be a nine? Then this would be a one eight pair. This would be, well, almost anything actually. There's no restriction much. Two. Ah, oh, there's a two in one of those cells. There's a one there. So this one is at least three, which is slightly high on a three cell arrow. But then we knew one was in one of these two cells. 
Now, and this one can't be a two. So if this wasn't a one, these two would add up to at least seven, three and four between them. This circle would be eight or nine if this wasn't a one. But if it was a one, this can be a two, and that gives all the freedom back to this wretched cell. Now, this could still be five, and that's frustrating. Actually, it's more frustrating that this could still be five. If I could get five out of that cell, I could take four out of this, and I'd know it would be a two. Then I'd go three, four, three. I'd feel like I was doing something. This is very likely to be a two, because there are three combinations that work with two, and only one that works with four. Five, four, nine. I cannot see quite what to do with that. This one appears in one of these two cells. It now can't be in the purple cell. Something like that going on here. And this one obviously isn't, I was going to say obviously isn't a two. Maybe that's not obvious yet. Because it could be that in column three, otherwise it's in one of these two. Whether it's eight or nine, there must be a one or a two on it. Ah, in fact, since there can't be a one and a two on it, we can't have a six here. This is from one, two, three, four, or five, and includes either a one or a two. And that is either a one or a two. So the rest of the cells in the row don't have a one or a two on. So this one must be at least, uh, I can't restrain it from being under eight annoyingly. I've nearly got a quintuple there. Oh goodness, okay, sorry. That's been a long time with no actual progress. Wow, this is tough stuff. Right, if that was a two, making this one, three, four, eight, its highest possibility, then we'd have to have a two here. It doesn't really affect anything, does it? These can't be one or two because they're already in the box. But these can be, and quite probably are, or one of them will be anyway. Um, oh, goodness gracious. Anti-night really is a bit of a, a bit of a beast. Now, there's a three up there. We need one big number here. Maybe I need to think about this nine more. If that was a nine, this couldn't be a nine. Then eight in the box would have to be here. And if that's not a nine, nine has to be here. So one of these is nine or eight. Now, that means that these can't be nine and eight, and these cells don't add up to as much as 17. They might only add up to 16. Um, and therefore, these can't add up to more than 13 and must have a one, which we knew anyway. These can't add up to more than six. So that's another one, two, three, four, or five, which is totally unsurprising. So that not being, an, that being a possible nine stops that being a nine. Yeah, that being a nine has quite a big effect, actually, because it stops that being a nine as well. Then we do need a, well, we knew we needed a one on this arrow, but it gets a little bit more constrained on this arrow. Oh, is it true? These are part of a seven, eight, nine triple. 
So those two, or that, no, that's what I've said before. This cell is in those somewhere, and therefore in these somewhere, but this one only sees that one of the 789 triple. Yeah, I'm, I am concerned I haven't been using the 789 triple properly. That There is every chance of that. But I don't I still don't know how to use it even now I've had that thought. Can six still be here? That would be six two one with a nine here. Six two one. And there'd be a six in one of these two cells. I don't see that that affects this. There's still going to be a 1 on it. I mean, I now know there is a 1 on both these arrows, and it, it, little good it does me. Really nothing. So, come on, let's have another, another think about something else. We've definitely got a 3 in one of those cells, so that's not 3. That's not a 1. That's also not a 1. Ah, if this arrow does need a 1 on it, it has to be here. But... The alternative is that that's a 9, this is 2, 3, 4, then you get a 1 here, a 5 or a 6 here, making this 9 or 8, and we have a 9 or 8 up here, and that would make this pair 7 and 6, which they cannot be, or they could be if that was 1, 2, 3, 4, and that was 1, 2. That's one, two, three, four, and that's seven, six. This is five, that's eight, nine. Oh, it just works. And that's if this is a nine. No, that was if this is an eight. We have a one here, and that's two. Was that what I was doing? If this is an eight, or was I doing if this was a Oh, if this was 2, 3, 4, that's what I was doing. This would be 5 or 6, that was it. So that's if there wasn't a 1 here. So I was trying to prove there was a 1 here. 2, 3, 4 here would make that a 1, and that a 5 or a 6. Oh, come on. It would make this 5, 6, 7 or 8. It would make this a definite 9. There's something going on here now. I'm not sure why I've ruled six out of this row. I think there was a reason earlier on, and I don't remember what it was. Oh, these couldn't have a one and a two in. That's what it was because of that cell. So that's why I've ruled six out of them. Okay, come on, maybe there's more there. If this was an 8, this would have to be 1, 3, 4, because it couldn't be 1, 2, 5 because of that cell again. So if it's an 8, it's 1, 3, 4. If it's a 9, it's either 2, 3, 4 or 1, 3, 5 because it won't, can't be 1, 2, 6. So there's definitely a 3 in those two cells. How interesting. So there can't be a 3 there. More importantly, there can't be a 3 here. That means there can't be a 6 here. Now, since we know there's either a 9, 8 or 7 here, and not both, uh, sorry, either a 9 or an 8 up here, and not both, and that's because only one of them can go in there, this now must be a 9 or 8. This also has a 9 or 8, and that makes up a 9, 8, 7, 6 triple. So this isn't 6, and there is a 6 in one of these two cells. And one of these arrows is one, two, three. Come on, come on. This is getting somewhere, surely. If that's one, two, three, this becomes a four, obviously. And that makes this one a six. But if that's a six, this is one, two, three. It's not so obvious to me what happens as a result. Well, 
if that's a six, six in this row is down in one of these two. Hmm. So there's either an eight or a nine here. There's definitely a six here. Oh, I'd love to prove there was also a seven here. Now we've got a three on this arrow. It's either three, five, one, three, two, four, or one, three, four. So we've used up one, two, and three as a virtual triple in those cells in the middle row. It's not all that helpful. This is such a tightly wound puzzle. It's really, I have a feeling it's only gonna unwind one tiny candidate at a time anyway, even if I get the right path. Okay, there's no six here. This is seven, eight or nine. So now this is two with five, six or seven. And that's using up four of the five, six, seven, eight, nine quintuple. Interesting, but not conclusive. Here we're using one with four, five, six or seven. Not with eight. I think we've worked out. Yeah, if that was one eight, this is a nine and that's a nine as well. So that's nonsense. So this actually can't be a nine because there is a one on its arrow. So now nine in this row is definitely in one of the circle. Well, no, it's either in the circle or there. Does it have to be in the circle for some reason? I don't think so. Now, either nine is there or it's here, causing all kinds of trouble. If nine is here, that reduces this pair to a maximum of 14, since it's got a six in it. That would be very few degrees of freedom on these arrows, which can add up to 13 at a minimum. There must be repeated digits in those cells and in these, I think. Although maybe this maximum of 15 is still available here, 9 and 6. And that might avoid the problem of repeated cells. Now, if there are repeated cells and two of them, they have to be in these. And one is obviously one of those. But the other one's in one of these two cells. That's not, that's not getting me anywhere. Um... Oh, we're getting close, we're getting close, come on. Let's keep thinking. Nine could be in one of those cells, in which case that's eight. This feels ever more likely. Ooh, can this be an eight? That makes this a nine. It puts eight in one of these cells. That would be one and seven. If you put eight there, this is one and seven, and you've got eight here, so this is seven or nine, but it can't be nine, because you've got one and seven there, so you can't have two and seven here. You'd have one seven here, two five here. That would be a six, and this would be an eight, and that's where I started with if eight was there. So it doesn't work, but it's pretty complicated to see why. So. I'll go through that again. If eight is here, let me actually put in the digits to show you. If eight's there, we get one seven here. That's a nine. So eight's in one of these two cells, and that's not eight. That's seven or nine, but this can't, this has a two in it and can't be two seven now. So it would have to be two five um, with a seven here. But now this can't be 7 or 8 and has to be 9 because there's a 7 here and an 8 here. And this isn't going to work because we can take 5 and 7 out of those. They're, they're in those areas. So this would be a 6 and that's not going to work with a 9 there. So that doesn't work in a way I could see. So I'm calling it not a bifurcation, even though I've explained to you how to do it with actual digits. But there isn't an 8 here. So this is now a 5, 6, 7 triple. Let's hope that helps. There's definitely a seven in one of these two cells. 
And that's either 729 or 716. Now, if this is 716, that's a 5. So this is now either 5 or 7. This has to be odd. <laughs> um, the 5, 6, 7 triple, more, more directly, takes 6 and 7 out of that cell. So rather unhelpfully, we get 8 or 9 as the total of these three. I don't even think that's the useful bit here. Now, we've got 5, 6 or 7. So this is either 1, 4, 1, 5 or 1, 6. Come on, come on, keep going. Now, if this goes five, four, nine, and maybe I could have ruled this out before, then we get six here, seven here. If that's five, four, nine, this is one and six. Also, the four there has meant this is a three, and that's a four. This becomes 2, 7, definitely, if that's a 5. Oh no, it's all if this is a 4, actually. 5, 4, 9, that's what I was doing. It's the only way to make this a 4. And that makes this a 5. Because four's in one of those cells, so the only way to make this a four is to have that be a four as well. Now what does that mean? Does one of these have to be a seven? No, it could oh, I could have eliminated seven from there if that was the case, but it's not the case because this could go five, four, nine. So if there is a seven here, this does go five, four, nine. This is one, six. There's a five here. So again, that's two, seven. It always seems like this works out being two, seven, which would be quite telling. So if this wasn't two, seven, let's say this was two, five, that would be a seven. So would that. This would be one, four. So if that's two, seven, that's one, four, five, three there. And then a six, eight, nine, triple. That would give me a one, three, four set here. That's quite interesting. Um, Yeah, no, I don't know that. I, th I think we're close here. I feel a lot closer than I felt for some time. Ah, oh, we can't have a six in this circle because whatever that number is has to appear somewhere up here and six has been ruled out of those. Um, so if this is six, we've got one, five, seven there, two, six, then we get eight here. And that gives us eight here. So this is six, we get an eight there. Ah. Oh. If this is four down in the bottom corner, then we get three in this corner. But we have to put four on the arrow here. So it's a one four arrow. Five, seven, two, nine. That becomes seven, six, eight. And it works, I think. That becomes two, five, and this is a seven. So again, there does seem to be a way out of it all the time. I really feel like there's some very clear possibility here that rules on the whole puzzle at this point. I just need to find it. So I'm just going to keep plugging away at these possibilities up here. These these look very, very limited to me now. Now, five, six, and seven there. So eight is definitely, sorry, five, six, seven, and nine are the possibilities. Eight is definitely in one of these cells. And therefore, well, I mean, obviously not here. That's 
that's not any use. Not there either. What about if these were six, seven? Which is all about this not being seven. If this is not seven, then there's an eight, nine virtual pair here, and these are six, seven. And this has to be one, two, three, four, with one, two here. That becomes a four automatically, with one, two there. That's interesting, because that fixes all these as nine, four, five. So, if that's not seven, then we're going to end up with a four here and a five here. If it is seven, we're going to end up with a five on this arrow. So in either case, these arrows don't have a five on. This arrow doesn't have a five on. That can't be six. Now I've got a five, seven pair. My fourth digit is a weird little six in a corner where it's no use to me. Isn't that classic? Okay, but I've got a five, seven pair here now though. So this is one and an even number. But this isn't necessarily a three, four, eight, nine quad. Is it? No, it's not. So again, it rather depends on whether this is four or five. If this is four, it forces a four into these arrows, and that's a five. That's a seven. So again, this being a seven is very constraining. No. This being an eight or nine, that's what's quite constraining because it makes this six, seven, one, two, three, four. Then we get a five here and an eight, nine here. Six, seven, I only use one, two, three, four there. Oh, and one, two pair here. So a five here is one of the fallouts of the six, seven here. And so is a five here because that's become a four. So that would be nine and seven. This would be... Ah, okay. So if this is eight or nine, I'm about to prove it can't be eight, weirdly. It might actually be helpful for a parity reason. But if this was eight, there's a nine here. This is a six, seven pair. You've got a two here. One, two, three, four there. One, two there to make the 13. That becomes a four. Nine there, five there, seven there, and you get one six here, and now this can't be two six. I mean, it works. It's highly complicated, but it means this can't be an eight. Now, the parity reason why I'm thinking that might matter is because this now has to be two and an odd number. We can remove six from there. Now I've got a two, five, seven triple. Come on, these also can't involve a one here. So they're from, right. Oh, the two, five, seven triple here means they can't have a five. And now the only place for five in the column is down in the corner. So that is a five. Now four in this column is in this these three cells. And therefore, it's not on this arrow, and I've sorted out the arrows. That is a 7. This must be a 5. This becomes a 9 because of the 7, not because of the 5. That makes this a 4, which was what we expected. Now we get 3 and 2 there. This has become a 4 in the corner, not the famous 3. Um, that's a 3, 8, 9, triple. These don't have a 5, so 2 and 7 make 9. Let's remove the corner marks. They've done their job very thoroughly. 29416. This is not a 9. This is not a 9, so nor are any of these. In fact, they don't have a 7 either. It's a 568 triple, so that's not an 8 or a 9. That's a 3. That's an 8. That's a 9 at the top. We get 8 here. Ah, come on, come on, keep going. If that's three, four, or five, these are from one, two, three, or four, I suppose. But don't worry about that. Nine there gives us a six on the arrow. That's the least helpful thing. This can't be six or eight anymore, though, because it sees those. Um, five down here takes five. Now, nine and eight there. These are six and seven. 
on these little circles. So this is a one, two, three, four quad, and this is a one, two pair. <sighs> one, two there, so that's not a two, and it's also not a four now, it's three or five. This can't be a two anymore. Still none the wiser, except, no, I, there, there's various ways for this to work still. Oh, are there? Can that be anything other than a one? Could this be two, three, four? Yes, it could. Okay, I'll come back to that. One, two, three, four there. Six, seven, five. This is an eight, nine pair. In fact, we know the order now. Um, what's that doing? This is a one, four, nine triple. This one obviously is not a nine. One, four, nine, that can't be a four anymore. This can't be an eight. So that can't be an eight, so it's a five in the circle. That's a three, this is a seven. Eight with a three on it means a one, four on the rest of the arrow. That can't be the one, so let's remove the pencil mark, corner mark, I mean, one, four pair, six, three, one, four, two. Could still be, in, the, in fact, the because this circle has to appear somewhere up here, it's only from two, four, or five. Can't be nine because of that, looking at the circle. Can't be four, because there's a one, four pair there. So it could still be two in the circle, either that or five. That is from two, five, or seven, because it sees four digits there and two there. None the wiser about the rest. Now, four, five, or seven here. That's gonna need nothing more than a five. No, this can't be nine anymore because of that. So let's put eight, seven, or six there. This can be anything from one, two, or three. It can't be higher than that because you can't have two fours in the box. This can't be five for various reasons. Um, now, one of these is one, two, three, and one is one, two, four. So they're both using two on the arrows. So that's an X wing, and this can't be a two. Well, that could have been done by knowing this was one, two, three, or one, two, four, actually. I didn't do it that way. Still haven't used, ah, that can't be nine anymore. Now that means nines in one of these two, the famous green triple that I've been working on since the start, so it's not there. That means nines in one of these three cells, but it's not in that one. So nines in one of those two cells. Now because of this arrow, that also means nines in one of these two cells, which I could have got from observing that nine. Bother. Um, three and four are up here. I haven't looked at this arrow ever. One or two plus two, three, five, or six equals anything between three and eight. Which, oh no, it can't be five. I don't think that's all that helpful yet. Um, right, there is a one, two, three virtual triple there, and six now. Ooh, six in this box can only be in one of these two places. I'm sure there's probably something very obvious now because quite a lot has changed. Look at six, looking up at that one six pair, for instance. Now one can't be there. Nine, one, six, eight, five has to be in one of these two cells, which is surprising, but not very helpful. Nine is definitely, yeah, we knew that. Nine's in one of those. I call this a very hard puzzle, I have to say. Oh, one, one and two are in those, so that's not a two, and this isn't a three. So this is getting whittled away at four, seven, or eight here. Still, I don't know much. Oh, that can't be a five anymore. One or four there, three or five here. I still don't think this is in any way resolved. Five can't be there. 
three, two, five. Still, I mean, I thought I was going to answer the question of where one was in these three cells long ago, and I absolutely have not done that. Nines in one of those cells in that column and that row. But it could still be there if it was there. Ah, oh, bother. Right. Nine is not in those cells, so it's in one of these three, and that makes this an eight, and that's probably very crucial. That means there has to be a one here, so I can place the one now. That's not a one, it's a two. That means eight is done by one, three, four, and I can fill those in. That's not a three now. This can't be a four, and it also is seeing an eight, so that's a seven which doesn't resolve its arrow. Um, but this is a naked single eight. I like those. This can't be an eight. This can't be a four. I've got a five, seven, nine triple. And that means this is a six. And that's got to be made up of a five, one arrow. And we've got a seven, nine pair. This becomes four with one up there. That's not a one. Four, one, six, five, eight. That becomes two on that arrow, which is a surprise. We get a three here. I've got three, four, and five to put in here. I can do those in box six. That's done. Two, seven, eight. There's a triple there. Let's remove the impossibilities. That means five, six, nine is a triple here. Um, there's a one, two pair there, making that an eight and sorting out the whole triple. That can't be eight now, and it can't be five. So that triple's done as well. Eight, two, four. This becomes a seven in our famous green triple, and we can do the nine and eight now. And that was a lovely find, lovely bit of stuff. So eight, seven is impossible there now. Um, I still haven't sorted out six and seven here, although I probably can now. That's not a two, it's a five, seven pair. bother. I um, don't know how this works, but I know where... Yes, I do. That's a five, so I do know how it works too. I know where nine goes in the column was what I was going to observe. I've got a seven there that I hadn't seen. Right, seven five pair done here. That does the seven six pair. Now I know this is a one two four triple at the bottom. And that can't be two, so they're all done. This is a 1-3 pair above, they're done. This is a 2-7 pair, that's done. Now, finally, I feel like I'm on the home straight in this incredible puzzle. Really interesting, but really attritional. Like, 9 going there, 3 and 6, that's a 4. 5, this is a 6-8 pair, and I can do them. 8 and 6. Three and four, just one pair left, and we are done. Thank you, Anti Knight. What a brilliant puzzle. That really is tough sledding. I mean, a set start, and I mean, I don't know. If, if you found something better than this looking ahead at possibilities up here, I mean, I could just do it in my head, but by goodness, it was difficult. Really interesting. If you found something better than that, let, let us know. There might have been a sort of second set relationship or maybe even some doubling or tripling that I just couldn't spot or pencil mark but I found that really interesting thank you so much for watching and following through with me as always um, I love that triple that was really that was a bit freaky in a way that they had to be different because of the layout of this box I, I like that aspect um, anyway really clever puzzle thanks for watching hope to see you again soon on the channel bye for now Thank you.